Good morning, friends. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to just get ready together, but I'm going to do a wear test on the Pharmacy CC Cream. This is what it looks like. I've used almost the whole tube, but I figured I would show you guys um, how long it lasts and how well it lasts. So I do have a lot of um, like open pores here, like larger pores, and then I have a couple of breakouts here. So we're just going to put it on, test it out, and see how long it lasts throughout the day. We have a few things to do today. We're going to be out and about shopping and things like that, and it is supposed to rain. So we'll just see how it holds up. So first I'm gonna go in with the Pharmacy CC Cream. This is the, it's not a CC Cream. This is a primer, the VFX Pro. This one is the Illuminating Primer. And I'm just taking that all over. This is great for pore filling, as well as creating a nice, smooth, illuminating base for your makeup to sit on top of. Okay, so for me, before we go in with the CC cream, I have learned that the foundation sits so much better on my skin and lasts so much longer if I allow the primer, whatever primer I'm using, whether it's a pharmacy primer or like a Too Faced primer, or Wet and Wild primer, whatever it is, it sits so much better on my face if I just um, allow the primer to sink in a little bit, kind of like dry down and almost like becomes a little bit tacky. So that's what I'm gonna do while I get this ready. I am just going to take a little bit of this CC cream and put it on the back of a palette just to work off of. So if this was the type that had a pump, I would say I have about a pump to a pump and a half here. And I'm gonna go in with a flat top kabuki brush and just start working that into my skin. The coverage that this foundation, or CC cream I should call it, provides is insane to me. So all pharmacy products are cruelty free and they are European standard. So you can feel comfortable putting these products on your face without having to worry about all of the nasty chemicals that can sometimes be found in makeup. I can read you the claims from the back of it. It says this is a lightweight formula that helps to instantly cover skin imperfections and balances uneven skin tones. Enriched formula with multi-mineral CC cream helps to make skin more resistant while providing flawless coverage. Marvelous to create a more radiant, silky, and flawless looking complexion suitable for every skin type. The shade range for this is pretty good. Um, the, I use shade Light 01 whenever I'm not self-tanned and then whenever I am self-tanned or just have a more natural tan, I will mix it with um, medium 03. So there is a shade for everyone. The retail price of the CC cream is $16.90. I will leave a link for it in the description box below. So I have just gone over my entire face with the CC cream and this is with a brush application. Sometimes I will go in with a sponge afterwards and just press all over it just to make sure if there were any brush strokes to just get that all smoothed out. But the coverage is pretty flawless. It covered my blemishes and my dark circles very well and it is almost dried down. If you aren't a like makeup setter, you wouldn't have to set it. For me, I always set my products. But now I'm gonna finish off my face 
and the rest of my makeup and then I will show you what the foundation looks like with a full face of makeup on top of it and I will do a check-in and natural lighting. It's pretty gloomy outside today, but I think we'll be able to get a good image of what it looks like overall on my skin. So I'm going to finish my makeup. I'll just fast forward through that and then I'll check in with you guys as soon as I'm finished. Got a glass full of it, cause I need it now. Money is a bitch in it. Okay, well, my makeup is finished and this is the final result. I am going to go into natural lighting now. I'll go in front of, like directly in front of one of my umbrella lights and show you like what the finish looks like here with makeup on top of it. And oh, I forgot to set my face. Okay, so we've set our face now. What it looks like on 
how it is looking around my larger pores right here, what it looks like here. I have a lot of like wrinkles on my forehead. So we'll see what it looks like. And then I'll show you a natural lighting and then I'll try to do one check-in throughout the day. And then I'll show you tonight before I take it off what it looks like. And we'll do like a little blot test to see if it is rubbing off or transferring at all. Okay, so this is right in front of an umbrella light. So you can see like up close and personal what it looks like. You can see right here in my pores. Okay, I'm in my car, I forgot to do it outside, but this is what the CC cream is looking like. Overall, it looks pretty well, if I do say so myself. So I will check in with you guys um, at some point throughout the day. It's 8.39 right now, it's about eight o'clock whenever I finish up my makeup. So I will check in with y'all probably around dinner time and then I will um, check in one last time before we go to bed. Okay guys, it is 12.23 and just doing a little check in in the car. Still very cloudy outside, so pretty decent lighting. Um, this is what my makeup is looking like at the moment. So it's not too shiny. It's really shiny where I got really just too much highlighter on, but um, I should have blended that out a little bit better. But um, overall, I think it's holding up pretty well. I mean, it's been four hours now, so it looks pretty good. Hey guys, I'm checking in again from my car. We are on our way home. It is 6.04 p.m. I have eaten two, I think three, two meals today. Um, it has rained. I notoriously have picked it a bump on my face and um, this is what my makeup is still looking like. So I have like aggressively rubbed my chin and my nose like rubbing it like this. So um, that's why the makeup is kind of gone there, but I will show you how it's looking. So you can see I picked out a bump right here as well as these two, but this is what it's looking like and it has been, what's well, eight to six, 10 hours. So. 10 hours we're still going strong um whenever i get home i will likely just take it off so i will talk to y'all then in uh, different lighting with like the ring light and the umbrella lights but there we go 10 hours and going strong